hi guys in today's video i'm gonna show you how i do this kind of cases it's a hybrid case full counter zirconia with a tissue so i did draw how exactly i'm gonna make uh, any kind of anatomy on them so all these lines are the anatomy then i'm gonna show you how i do the anatomy you know, accentuate the anatomy over here finally we're gonna layer all the tissue on this case all right let's go so at first i'm gonna be using this burr this is the burr's number if you want to order it and that's what it looks like okay let's do it ideally of course it'd be better if uh, this whole grinding is done when it's still in the stage when it's soft before it was if you want to make any um, prominent lines in here which is still small you can put your burr on a low speed like 15 that way it would be much easier for you to control it while it's grinding okay then I'm gonna take this berm this one I don't know what it's called or what's the number the low speed like right now my speed is 14 I can make a couple of these uh, parallel lines too okay now let's do the uh, lateral
also a high speed is done and now I'm gonna finish on a low speed again 15 so my high speed is 30 and my low speed is 15 rpm okay so this is what it was and this is what it is right now oh I forgot I forgot to make the parallel lines like in here right gonna take my um, butterfly disc this is what they look like these are um, carbon fiber discs they are cheap they are um, disposable <laughs> this is why I like them and carefully just also on low speed Separate them ever so slightly. You don't want to compromise the integrity of your bridge, okay? Alright, so I separated them a little bit. Okay. And now the same thing between the lateral and the cuspid. Alright, so now you know what instruments and what technique I use and uh, I'm gonna grind the rest of my uh, bridge and I'll see you soon. Okay guys, so this is it. I did the rest of the bridge. So now you see how it is over here, not very defined. So I defined it much better. And I'm going to show you now with what. It's this berm. This is the package. This is the number. FG016. Or maybe it's this. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, that's what it looks like in the back. So yeah, I guess this is the number. Alright. So with this... We're gonna grind a little bit, modify the occlusion. So just uh, touch it up with a very slight pressure. Of course, this is better to do also when it's um, in a soft stage. But like I said, this is my case uh, is not the real case. This is uh, a case that I found in the lab because I was asking for this kind of case for a while and uh, I never got it. So I just found an uh, old uh, duplicate and decided to make this uh, video for you guys. just like that it's all bad okay I will see you soon okay guys so I sandblast my bridge and today I'm gonna be using this porcelain initial ZRFS and I'm gonna be using these three shades today 24 24, 23, and 35. So, first of all, I'm gonna cover the whole uh, frame in 24, which is this one. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not very convenient to build it on a hemostat, <laughs> but I don't have a model because it's uh, not a real case. You guys were asking me to show how I do this and I was asking my manager to give me this real case, but they were giving only a um, single custom shade front implant to me every day. <laughs> so I said, okay. I took this as some kind of a duplicate case. Yeah, I decided to make it for you to show you how I do this. And also check if I still remember how to do this <laughs> at all. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. And I'm gonna bake it on the first bake. And uh, so this is the program. Okay, I'll see you after bake. Hi guys, I'm back. So this is the case after first bake. It looks good, but it has a little bit of um, cracks here and there, like you see over here and over here. And that's the shade at this point. So the shade was, I applied 24, this one. So it looks exactly like the shade guide. So that's like a base canvas on which we're gonna build the rest. As you can see, it also sh shrunk a, a good amount. So now I'm just gonna cover the cracks with the same shade 24. And then I'm gonna be applying uh, different shades to create natural looking tissue. Okay, so first I'm gonna make my uh, tissue a bit longer wherever it uh, shrunk during the bake. This is also just shade 24. Okay, now I'm gonna take a mixture of this two. 23 and 24, 60% 23 and 40% 24. So I'm gonna layer the tissue that is gonna be right next to the teeth. Also remember when you're applying this that the papillas are not very um, sharp in between the teeth. So these parts are not sharp, they are rounded. So you see after application, I just take my brush and with the very tip of it, I clear it out and then I will just push it towards the edge like this. So it looks like that, okay? It's very exaggerated, but it will all shrink a lot so it's okay okay so now we're gonna make the papilla that goes in between the two front teeth like mine goes really close up here so I'm gonna make for this person like I have myself and we're gonna make uh, two valleys over here I wish I had a little more space because the papilla is like a rather sizable structure but in such a little space I can't show you but just the beginning of it okay and then um, I might put a little bit of um, 35 mixed with 34 just a tiny bit of that on my um, front teeth so I can accentuate that my front teeth are, you know, front they're gonna be a little bit different and uh, a little more uh, detailed also at this point I'm gonna make some of the uh, little pores this is my instrument the full thing looks like that that's actually a, 
the brush for nail art but don't judge me I'm just gonna make a little pores in here they only go to where like in between okay so now after all that I'm just gonna clean the uh, powder of the of my teeth and let's do the second bake okay guys look at this beautiful case it came out and uh, I think it looks very pretty let's glaze it so I'm just gonna take this glaze first and I will apply everywhere is a medium glaze it's not too watery and uh, not too um, thick okay so I covered it all in glaze and um, the tissue itself it came out kind of dark so I'm gonna take my um, this one salmon pink it's this shade and I'm gonna carefully apply it just around the where the teeth are and a little bit in the papillas too okay and then I'm gonna take some of my um, coral mamelon and I'm gonna draw a little bit of like yellowish stain on my like certain parts like this all right okay now let's do the teeth so I want to get it um, I think I would choose some kind of like a B shade for them I'm just putting it on the center of the teeth just like that right and then i'm gonna apply some of my um, orange shade nearby the tissue okay just like that and then i'm gonna take my incisor shade my blue and then i'm gonna do the edges now they look like that now I'm going to take some of my um, occlusal stain and I'm going to do a little tiny stains by the gingival Look over here and for the molars in between over here little tiny stains in between the teeth of course too and um of course we're gonna make some stains in the occlusion I'm using the bright orange stain Okay, now I'm going to take some of uh, linen This is this color And I'm going to draw some characterization on these teeth Like the little
Okay, and then I'm gonna take some snow. It's really white, like a white out. And I'm gonna draw a little bit of like uh, frosted tips on the teeth. just a tiny tiny bit I'm applying haphazardly you don't have to do that at all it's just what I do all right so this is our work at this point and uh, I'm gonna put it in the oven and bake it and I will see you very very soon Alright, so I hope this video was informative for you and uh, if you like it, give this video a like and subscribe for more and I uh, will see you soon. Bye-bye.